Futurism by Umberto Boccioni. Futurism was an art and social movement that occurred in the early 1900s. Futurists often depicted motion and speed through still paintings. They also embraced technology, such as industry, cars, machines, and trains. They also had quite a knack for violence in their work. Here in The City Rises by Umberto Boccioni, we see a large horse in the foreground looking to be fighting some people off. We also see some other horses in the painting in the foreground and the background. We can see Boccioni's attempt to depict motion through the lines of the horse as well as the stillness in the buildings of the background. Umberto Boccioni was born in Italy in 1882. His parents were also native of the Italy region. In 1901, Umberto Boccioni set out to attend the Academy of Fine Arts in Rome. Over his career, he published over 90 pieces of art before tragically dying while volunteering for the army where he was trampled by a horse. The Machine Age created a platform for futurism to grow and flourish. The Machine Age was around 1880 through the mid-1900s. Futurism was considered to peak between World War I and World War II. This makes a lot of sense considering the violence in their artwork. After this time period, the contemporary era began. This era pushed away from the Industrial Age and created more complex, computerized technologies. During this time, World War II was taking place and the first computers were built, along with the notorious atom bomb. Umberto Boccioni is considered by many to be one of the founding fathers of futurism. His ability to depict motion through stillness has allowed him to be considered one of the most educated, interesting, and talented artists in futurism. In The Charge of the Lancers, a painting by Umberto Boccioni, we see, again, horses in the foreground who seem to be charging a group of soldiers. Umberto Boccioni has a likingness for horses, as they appear throughout a lot of his work. We also see his attempts to use motion in this painting. We see the blur around the horses appearing as they're almost jumping over a wall to attack the soldiers. This painting invokes a lot of emotion, those of war and violence. In the States of Mind, The Farewells, a three-part series by Umberto Boccioni, we see a train moving through what seems to be a train station at a rate of speed. We can make this inference by seeing the motion or the blur around the train as it passes through the painting. Everything around the painting seems to be consumed by the technology. Umberto Boccioni is credited with integrating the art of cubism into futurism. He is also credited with being able to symbolically represent technology and aspects of time in motion. Although Umberto Boccioni was a painter at heart, he did depart the sculpture to create the unique forms of continuity in space. In this sculpture, we see a bronze man outfitted in some type of armor. He seems to be fighting against some strong winds as we can see the movement of his pants. This piece is significant because it captures aspects of cubism and futurism and brings it to sculpture. We see evidence of the use of line in which he uses in his painting to depict motion. He uses the same element in his three-dimensional work. Thank you for listening to my presentation on Umberto Boccini.